At least now I know why it was named Binding 13. I'm literally gonna smack this Bella bitch in the face. Interesting title. Literal fireworks are going off in my brain right now. A lot there, a lot to unpack. <laughs> No way. And I feel that, I really do. This is the only time that I condone men hitting women. Stop it right now. Shit is hitting the fan real quick. Before we get into the video, I just would like to mention that there may be some minor spoilers while I'm talking about different scenes or some conversations between characters. And I do talk about couples that could be spoiler-ish if you haven't read any of the books yet. If you want to go into this series mostly blind, this video is probably not for you because I do talk about some of the stuff with you. Nothing that majorly affects the plot or would ruin any big moments, but yeah, just want to put that out there don't say I didn't warn you hey it's me from the future because I am currently editing this video and I realized that I never even filmed an intro discussing what binding 13 is even about um, we just really we jumped straight into it so before we jump into reading the book I'll tell you a little bit about what it's about this is a rugby romance between Johnny and Shannon they both go to Tom and College which is actually a high school even though it's called college I guess that's just what they call it in Ireland because it is based in Ireland Johnny is one of like the pro rugby players he's playing on the high school team but he also plays for like a bigger team and he's played for their country before he's like a big deal everyone knows who he is Shannon is the new girl at Tom and College she's definitely been through it she's definitely had a rough upbringing and had a hard time at school and she got bullied a lot so her parents ended up switching her over to the Tom and College to see if that would help with her bullying and then on Shannon's first day she has one hell of an interaction with Johnny so that's how it starts. <laughs> I swear if they keep talking about how tiny and skinny and small Shannon is, I'm going to bash my head into the wall because I'm literally on page 24 and I have no joke heard this shit like 500 billion times. Johnny just said she was tiny, seriously small, barely reaching my chest in height. Like we get it, we get it, we literally get it, okay? I get it, I really do, I get it. When he says, wait, don't talk to her, don't get any notions about her. In fact, don't look at her at all. Yep. Doesn't even know who she is, he only knows her name. Like what, oh, sorry. <laughs> The fact that he's defending her when she's not even around and he doesn't even know her. Yup, 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 yup. I was sick to death of this kid in his mouth. He had no goddamn respect and hell. Maybe I could handle his crappy attitude and aggression towards me, but not her. I didn't like, couldn't cope, and wouldn't put up with him talking about her like that. The fact that this man like met her one time and is defending the f out of her, yup. Thanks, King. I decided to start reading it on my Kindle because the book is just so big and the font is so tiny. So I decided to switch to my Kindle, especially because Especially because I wanted to lay in my bed and the Kindle's just easier. What page am I on? Currently on page 92. We're almost on page 100. Wow! I don't understand why they're saying bleeding. Like, I know that British people say bloody. They're like, it's a bloody mess. But he's saying, because I'm bleeding not. Is that like an Irish thing? Because I've never heard that before. <laughs> You clearly like Sharon. Her name isn't Sharon. It's Shannon. And I don't like her. Mm, Gibsy said that that was a trick question. 
And you were out of action for a while when they sawed at your ball sack. Interesting title. I'm not far enough into the book yet where I know a whole bunch about Shannon and her past. You get bits and pieces here and there about like things that she's gone through and her family because her family situation is not that good. But I don't have the whole picture yet. It's just really cute how her friends are there for her. Lizzie and Claire are her two friends that she met. Well, she's been friends with them since they were little, but they go to that school. So when she's transferred to that school, they all just became friends again. Anyway, that's so relevant. I just love how much they care about her and like love her because like Claire is trying to make their plans work just so Shannon can go because her father is super strict and up so he won't let her go and so Claire is like trying to come up with lies to help her so she can come. Poor Shannon has been through the ringer. I feel so bad for her. Also same with Johnny and Gibbsy. Their friendship is so cute. Like I can tell it's gonna be like a big part of this book and I think it's so cute and I can tell that there's gonna be a huge found family aspect and that's one of my favorite things in books. Literally one of the best things ever. Yeah I can just tell I'm really gonna enjoy this even though like I'm already enjoying it but you know what I mean. So I am in the car. I have my therapy appointment in like an hour but I had a massage before this so I just decided to chill and wait. So I have my Kindle and I'm reading Binding 13. It says okay it's telling me I have seven hours left in the book. I don't know why it's not telling me the minutes per chapter. I much prefer that, but currently 24% into the book, page 147, and I'm really liking it so far. It's very similar to the Addicted series or Magnolia Parks in terms of there is not much of a plot. It's very character driven. You know, I'm obviously only like a fourth of the way in, but from what I can tell, you're literally just following the characters' lives and like the drama and the shit that they go through, which I personally enjoy, but I know a lot of people need a story with a plot of some sort. So if that's you, then this series definitely isn't for you. But I personally do enjoy the character driven stories a lot. I enjoy both, but I love character driven stories. So I'm really liking this. I want to find out more about Shannon's background. She's a very interesting character and I can tell there's definitely a lot there a lot to unpack so I'm very interested to see how it all plays out. I'm just scared to see how this book goes though because now I know a little bit about the characters and I'm just like what's gonna happen because everyone's always like you're gonna need the second book because the first book ends so crazy but we're gonna keep reading for a little bit until I have my therapy appointments. Shannon and Johnny just put on blast for everyone to see. <laughs> Oh shit! They're finally having more like actual interactions. I feel like it's been so long of just them apart talking about each other, but now they're actually like interacting. And they just had their first argument and Shannon went off, period, because as she should, put Johnny in his place. Ew, Shannon's dad is disgusting. I literally just want to like, mm, he makes me so mad. Do you ever just want to like jump into a book to literally like strangle a person. Oh, Joey is such a good brother. Look what just came, guys. Y'all, when I tell you I was so scared when I finished the first one because people have scared me so much into thinking that it's like a horrible ending. I don't know what the f is gonna happen, but I have to be prepared, so. Okay, let me not. <laughs> I think I'm on like page 200 something. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to read a lot this weekend. It's currently Friday. My dog Bentley is spending the weekend at my dad's house and I don't have too much going on. I'm just hanging out with a friend for a little bit tomorrow. I'm loving it. It's just giving the same energy as like the Addicted series and the Magnolia Park series in terms of the found family, very character driven. 
And I also love when characters have depth to them. And the characters in this book have a lot of depth. We don't know too much about Johnny yet. And we've also met some side characters. We met Gibsy, which I love Gibsy. And I love Gibsy and Claire. And I know a lot of people have talked about them as a couple because I've just heard those two names together all the time. And I don't think they have a book yet, but I think they're gonna have a book. I would definitely love for them to have a book because I really thought that Saving Six, is, it, is that what it's called? And redeeming six i thought that was about gibsy and claire so clearly i'm confused we're learning a lot more about shannon and i feel for her i really do not in the terms of like her family situation but more just a lot of stuff she has going on she doesn't like to feel like she's an issue for anyone you know people have always treated her like she is taking up too much space she doesn't want to take up any space she wants to literally be invisible and i feel that i really do and i like her character i don't like how they like to bring up how small she is all the time but i'll let it slide i guess so i went to the pool this morning and i read a ton of binding 13 and i wanted to update you guys so badly but there are so many people at the pool i was like there's no way <laughs> there's no way i'm about to start just talking about this book to my phone right now i'm currently on page 280 and Johnny he's like calling her my Shannon while I was at the pool I read chapter 27 that yeah that was it for me like absolutely yes Johnny putting Shannon's bullies in her place period absolutely period and he was calling her his girlfriend and they're like definitely not dating please and now he's saying, every time your Bella decides to make a threat, spread a nasty rumor, or f*** with my Shannon, I'll return the favor on your face. Every single goddamn time. Stop it right now. <laughs> Stop it right now. Okay, Joey is taking Johnny home. And Joey is saying that his car is a three-door car. Like, I know a two-door and a four-door what the hell is a three door? What's the third door? I'm not understanding. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Gibsy is the comedic relief of this book. He is hilarious. I literally cannot. <laughs> Joey and his girlfriend, I have no idea how to pronounce her name. I, Alf, Ify, Alf, I don't know. Joey and his girlfriend are taking Johnny and Gibsy home and Johnny and Gibsy are extremely drunk. And Gibsy is deciding to tell Joey that Johnny protects Shannon at school. And so it says, why Joey demanded, what's in it for you? I sighed heavily and tried to come up with something believable because I f***ed her and <laughs> just cuts off right there and joey says you what slamming on the brakes the sudden jolt of the car stopping caused gibsy and me to lunge forward turning around joey glared at me you better be messing around right now kavanaugh because i swear to christ i will over i hurried to explain i fucked her over on the first day embarrassed her on the pitch when i knocked her out <laughs> i don't know why but that just took me out <laughs> oh boy Oh boy. Aww. Joey and his girlfriend are so cute. I need to figure out how to say her name though. How to say Joey's girlfriend's name in Binding 13. Aoife. Oh, I'm just literally stupid. Why? <laughs> it was not that hard. I got it now. This whole time I've been wondering what the hell idiot is. And I just said it out loud and I realized they're saying idiot. But with an accent. I'm pretty sure. That's what it sounds like. Otherwise, I have no clue what that means. Bloody idiot. Throw himself on the top of the car, depending on giving him back his center. So, I feel like it has actually taken me like 80 years to read this book. I'm still reading Binding 13. I've been reading it for a while this morning. Shannon and Johnny just remind me so much of Seven by Taylor Swift in the folklore album. Johnny and Shannon are very much seven coded. I know that song's technically about like 
childhood besties i'm pretty sure even though they're not childhood besties i still feel like it's so much like them because johnny is an only child his parents aren't around that much but he's never been like scared to be at his house or anything he's lived a very comfortable nice life his mom is a fashion designer and his dad's a lawyer they're rolling in money over there shannon's family is just not good um, at all she has a ton of siblings and she's the only girl it just makes me feel like that because there was um, a chapter that I read while I was at the pool and it was Shannon at Johnny's house he was just like holding her and telling her that everything would be okay and that she would be okay at his house she just like felt safe and she just kept saying how like she didn't want to leave and she was just so scared to go home and didn't want to go home and was like dreading the moment that her brother came back to pick her up it just reminds me so much of that song because Johnny's like, you can come here, like you are safe here. He also doesn't fully understand the situation that Shannon is in. He doesn't understand like how actually bad it is because she hasn't actually told him what's going on. He knows something's happening. He just doesn't know what. This book is definitely very deep. Like there is a lot of touchy subjects in it, but I enjoy that there is the banter between Gibbsy and Johnny to lighten up the mood a little bit. They are so funny together. Like it doesn't matter if they're talking about something serious or not. Gibbsy is just the comedic relief that we need in this story. Operation Bind 13. Binding 13. Helen repeated. And then Shannon says, what does that even mean? And Helen says, the fifth and sixth year girls had this stupid competition going last year to see who could get with Johnny. They call they called it Operation Binding 13 because they're completely sad and unoriginal. <laughs> At least now I know why it was named Binding 13. Okay, wait, this is what it says. So Shannon says, I don't get it. And then Claire says, Johnny's jersey number is 13. And binding is a rugby reference for engaging in a scrum. Although I'm pretty sure those girls meant engaging with Johnny in a whole different position. I didn't know all that. Johnny saying to Shannon, you think I'd let anyone hurt you? You think I'd let anything bad happen to you, Shannon like the river? The way that we're like so far into the book and I'm like so obsessed with it and they haven't even kissed. Like they, the, they have literally not done anything. Hugged, that's literally as far as they've gotten. And that's crazy because usually I get bored. Like I like spicy books. Like I like the spice, that's what I wanna see. I'm not the biggest fan of Slow Burn. It has to be a really good book for me to like Slow Burn. Clearly I'm liking this. Johnny is just like absolutely in love with her but he doesn't want to be. But he's been like that since he like first laid eye eyes on her. So. I'm literally gonna smack this Bella bitch in the face. She is so mean and entitled like bye. Who do you think you are? Ew. But I'm glad that Gibsy once again comes in as the comedic relief. If you know who Bella is, if you know, you know, if you've read the book, Bella and Shannon just had an interaction and it was tense. There was a lot of tension. I was getting very anxious, but it's okay because Gibsy's here now, so. Okay, Johnny, yup, you better tell Bella off. This is the only time that I condone men hitting women. Johnny says, I hope she got that message loud and clear today because I was not around. Not when it came to the girl sitting beside me. Shannon. He just told her that his hoodie looks good on her. I hate this though because 17 year old boys do not act like this at all. Like, please, <laughs> please. Johnny has a playlist named Songs for Shannon. And there's all the songs. Oh my god, it's so cute. There she goes. Johnny said, Shannon, can we talk? About what? I have less than 100 pages left and I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna end. First real intimate moment on page 560. Let's go. Literal fireworks are going off in my brain right now. I'm so happy that this moment has finally come. And it's at a horrible time too. Like if you know, you know. <laughs> Shit is hitting the fan real quick and I'm literally gonna... I have 20 pages left 20 pages and I'm gonna record every second of it because I don't see any of this ending <laughs> there's no way 
it just ended like that. There's no ended like that. What the f What the actual? So I finished binding 13 last night and wow definitely a roller coaster of emotions. I feel like there's not too much I have to explain because you literally saw me read the entire book through this entire vlog, but I ended up rating it a five stars. I really, really enjoyed Johnny and Shannon's story and I'm super excited to get into Keeping 13. I've already read a little bit of it and it basically starts where this one ends. So I'm excited to get into it and see what happens, what all goes down. I'm glad you guys were here with me to experience me reading this monumental book. I finally read it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do more reading vlogs. I feel like it's so fun because you get to see my literal real live reactions to it. So I just feel like it's super fun. So let me know if you want me to do reading vlogs on any specific books. I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.